as we gaze upon the unfolding tapestry of human history, observing nations rise and fall like the ebb and flow of a vast unseen ocean, we are reminded of the impermanence of material power and the enduring presence of a higher justice. This justice not meted out by human hands, but by the immutable laws of the cosmos, is a testament to the internal flame of spirit that burns at the heart of existence. Manly P. Hall, in his profound explorations of the mystical and the sacred, unveils this truth that behind the veil of physical reality lies a great spiritual force, a divine hand that guides the destiny of humankind. This unseen hand emanates from the spiritual flame, an undying fire that nourishes all of creation, the very essence of the divine spirit that is God. It is this flame that has witnessed the rise and fall of great civilizations, not because it wanes, but because those civilizations turned away from its light. Yet the flame itself never dies. It is life eternal, moving from one civilization to another, igniting the hearts of those ready to receive its wisdom. The initiates of the flame are those noble souls who through the ages have dedicated themselves to tending this inner light, guiding humanity towards awakening and the realization of its divine potential. We are the children of this flame, sparks of the divine fire, called to illuminate the darkness with our light. By dedicating ourselves to love, service, and the pursuit of wisdom, we fan the flames of our divine spark, becoming beacons of light in a world that yearns for spiritual awakening. Let us then, with reverence and humility, offer our lives to the service of the flame, recognizing in its light the unity of all creation and the path to our own divine nature. So let us step forward with open hearts and minds, ready to traverse the sacred ground of the initiates, to uncover the mysteries veiled in symbol and metaphor, a quest for the light that illuminates the darkness, guided by the wisdom of Manly Hall, a sage who walked the shattered paths and returned with light. The cube altar, resolute and unwavering, serves as a profound testament to the foundational bedrock upon which the enigmatic mysteries are meticulously constructed. Through the insightful teachings of Hall, we are invited to perceive this emblem as the very essence of Earth itself, a symbol embodying stability, tangibility, and the fundamental groundwork upon which the spiritual aspirant diligently erects their sacred temple. It is upon this steadfast platform that the ethereal flame of the spirit is ignited, shining forth as a guiding beacon for those earnest seekers who endeavor to transcend the material realm, all the while acknowledging its indispensable role in the sacred alchemy of transformation. The ever-burning lamp stands as a luminous beacon amidst the shadows, softly whispering tales of an unending light of wisdom that ceaselessly burns in the heart of the earnest seeker. This eternal lamp serves as a steadfast guide to the soul's darkest nights, casting a radiant glow upon the path towards enlightenment. It acts as a constant reminder of the undying flame within us all, the divine spark that remains forever unquenched, illuminating our journey with its perpetual light. The gravedigger's spade serves as a profound metaphor, delving not into the soil but into the depths of the soul itself, uncovering the veiled secrets ensconced within. This emblematic tool represents the initiate's unyielding quest for truth, embodying the courage to face the enigmatic cycles of death and rebirth. It symbolizes the ardent journey to unearth the concealed wisdom and treasures that dwell in the shadow, awaiting discovery by those brave enough to explore the unknown depths of their own being. The candle, in its solitary vigil, casts a beacon of illumination through the veil of darkness. This emblem, in its unassuming grace, embodies the quintessential essence of enlightenment, the radiant glow of knowledge and the unwavering flame of truth that each seeker is tasked to foster within. It emerges as a beacon of hope, guiding the wayward traveler towards the shore of wisdom. This simple yet profound symbol serves as a poignant reminder that amidst the deepest shadows, the mere flicker of a single spark can carve a path of light, revealing the way forward. The rod that budded stands as a profound testament to divine selection and miraculous awakening. It heralds the dormant potential residing within every seeker, a latent force poised to unfurl with the divine's slightest touch. This emblematic staff transcends mere authority and embodies the essence of spiritual leadership born from genuine enlightenment and the flowering of one's innermost being. It is a beacon of hope and transformation signaling the journey from potentiality to actualization, guided by the unseen hand of the divine. The Philosopher's Stone symbolizes the zenith of alchemical and spiritual pursuit. 
transcending the mere alchemical transmutation of base metals into gold, to embody the transformation of the soul itself. It signifies the ultimate achievement of enlightenment, where the seeker's journey culminates into the realization of their inherent divinity and the harmonious union of the terrestrial with the divine. This mystical stone represents not just the quest for physical wealth, the far more valuable journey towards spiritual awakening and the unification of one's lower nature with the celestial realms. The five-pointed star, known as the pentagram, serves as an emblem of the interconnectedness of existence, encapsulating the essence of the human condition within the vast expanse of the cosmos. It symbolizes the microcosm's reflection in the macrocosm, illustrating the harmonious unity of the four classical elements, earth, air, fire, water, with spirit reigning supreme above them. This star acts as a guardian sigil, safeguarding the seeker on their journey through the mysteries of creation, and stands as a constant reminder of the intricate web of connectivity that binds the universe and all within it. The marriage of the sun and moon embodies the quintessential alchemical union, a sacred confluence where opposites merge, masculine and feminine, light and darkness, conscious and unconscious. This profound symbol speaks to the heart of balance and the reconciliation of dualities, guiding the seeker towards the creation of the Philosopher's Stone. It represents not just the attainment of enlightenment, but the harmonious integration of all aspects of the self, transcending contradictions to unveil a state of unity where true wisdom and inner peace reside. The serpent, embodying the ancient symbol of the Ouroboros, manifests the essence of eternal wisdom and the perpetual cycle of renewal. This emblem of self-consumption and rebirth signifies the universe's infinite, cyclical nature and the transformative journey of enlightenment. It captures the essence of spiritual evolution, the continuous shedding of old selves to awaken anew in higher states of consciousness. Through this symbol, the initiate is reminded of the power of knowledge to catalyze personal and universal transformation, guiding the soul through its perpetual quest for deeper understanding and spiritual ascension. The scepters of Egypt stand as majestic emblems of authority and divine mandate, echoing the profound responsibility and leadership bestowed upon the enlightened. These ancient symbols, reminiscent of the enduring flow of the Nile, serve as conduits of timeless wisdom, enriching the soul's relentless pursuit of truth. They remind us that with great knowledge comes a solemn duty to guide and illuminate the path for others, embodying the sacred trust and stewardship required of those who have been awakened. Through the representation, the scepters underscore the vital role of the initiate as a beacon of enlightenment, tasked with the noble endeavor of nurturing and leading the collective soul towards a deeper understanding and harmony with the cosmos. The sacred scarab, revered as a potent emblem of regeneration, embodies the perpetual cycle of existence, life, death, and rebirth. This mystical beetle, mythologized for its daily task of rolling the sun across the heavens, mirrors the soul's passage through the shadowy realms of the underworld. It symbolizes the profound transformations that occur in the veils of darkness, leading to the soul's eventual reawakening and ascent into the light, reborn with a deeper sense of purpose and enlightenment. Through this ancient symbol, we were reminded of the inherent resilience of the spirit and the promise of renewal, guiding us to embrace the journey of self-discovery and the inevitable return to the source with newfound wisdom and strength. The priest before the Ark of the Covenant embodies a profound connection between the celestial and the terrestrial, serving as the sacred intermediary who upholds divine ordinances. This venerable figure symbolizes the deep and personal journey of the seeker towards the divine, highlighting a path marked by reverence, devotion, and a solemn agreement to pursue spiritual enlightenment. It underscores the sacred bond of trust and dedication that links the initiate to their spiritual quest, emphasizing the importance of, of honoring the ancient wisdom and commitments that guide one's journey towards the divine. Through this symbol, we are reminded of the sanctity of the spiritual path and the responsibility of carrying forward the legacy of, of the sacred teachings. The rod that budded, the pot of manna, and the tablets of the law collectively embody a sacred trinity of divine intervention, spiritual nourishment, and moral compass. This trio serves as a beacon of those on the spiritual path, offering support, sustenance for the soul's journey, and a set of ethical principles to guide the seeker towards enlightenment. They symbolize the unwavering divine presence that accompanies the initiate, providing both the physical and spiritual sustenance necessary for the journey, as well as the moral and ethical guidelines essential for true spiritual growth. Through these symbols, the initiate, the initiate is reminded of the holistic support system provided by the divine, 
encompassing all aspects of their journey. The Holy Grail stands as the quintessential emblem of the spiritual odyssey, embodying the quest for divine communion and enlightenment. The sacred chalice, believed to contain the elixir of immortality, symbolizes the soul's pursuit of eternal wisdom and its unification with the divine essence. It encapsulates the myriad trials and tribulations encountered along the path, serving as a beacon of hope for the ultimate attainment of spiritual illumination. Through the metaphor of the Grail, seekers are reminded of the journey towards realizing their highest spiritual potential and the promise of transcending the mortal coil to achieve oneness with the universal spirit. The stone and the sword emerge as potent symbols of sovereignty and veracity, embodying the divine right and the unyielding power of truth to pierce through deception. These archetypes signify the arduous journey towards spiritual mastery and the valor needed to brandish the sword of truth effectively. They underscore the foundational principles upon which the enlightened sovereign is established, highlighting the intricate balance between authority and wisdom. Through these symbols, the narrative of the seeker's path is enriched, illustrating the necessity of overcoming obstacles and embodying integrity to ascend to a position of enlightened leadership and moral fortitude. The Rosicrucian Rose, silently blossoming, cradles the universe's mysteries. The revelation of spiritual truths and the enlightenment journey's allure within its petals. This emblem represents the heart's awakening to the divine, the inner wisdom that blossoms forth in the soul's pilgrimage towards illumination. It is a testament to the silent yet profound unfolding of consciousness, beauty inherent in the quest for understanding and unity with the divine. Through this symbol, we are reminded of the transformative power of inner revelation and the gentle yet relentless pursuit of light and truth. The sacred spear embodies the essence of purposeful action the unwavering will aimed at the loftiest of ideals, and the clarity that slices through deception to unveil truth. It stands as a testament to the relentless quest for wisdom, the bravery required to confront the enigmatic depths of life, and the resolute commitment to excavate the veiled realities that underpin our existence. This symbol champions the dynamic journey towards enlightenment, encouraging the seeker to wield the power of discernment and courage as they navigate the labyrinth of the unknown. In a steadfast quest to illuminate the shadows with the light of understanding, the cross-section of the Great Pyramid of Giza and the Sphinx together encapsulate the profound dialogue between humanity and the cosmos, embodying the quest for eternal wisdom. The Great Pyramid, with geometric perfection and celestial alignment, serves as a testament to the ancients' deep understanding of universal laws and their pursuit of esoteric knowledge. It stands as a symbol of the sacred harmony between the earth and the divine, urging the seeker to align with the cosmic order. Meanwhile, the Sphinx, with its enigmatic presence, guards the threshold of deeper mystery, inviting the initiate to confront the fundamental questions of existence. It symbolizes the journey of merging the human with the divine, a quest not just for knowledge, but for the wisdom that comes from a profound understanding of one's true nature in the universe. Together, they offer a path to enlightenment that is rooted in the balance and integration of all aspects of being, beckoning the seeker to unlock the mysteries that lie at the heart of life itself. The lotus flower, transcending cultures and spiritual traditions, symbolizes purity, enlightenment, and rebirth, embodying the journey from darkness to light. In ancient Egypt, it represented the sun's rebirth. In Hinduism, it signifies divine purity and prosperity, while in Buddhism, it stands for the ascent from ignorance to enlightenment, blooming unscathed from muddy water. Today it inspires as a symbol of overcoming adversity, reminding us that true beauty and awakening emerge from the challenges we face, urging us to rise above our surroundings and achieve our highest potential. The key and the cross, in their profound union, serve as powerful emblems of the journey towards spiritual awakening, embodying the intricate dance between the material and spiritual realms. This pairing symbolizes the essential path of sacrifice and redemption, marking the pivotal intersection where life meets death and from which enlightenment emerges. They stand as reminders to the seeker that the road to true awakening is paved with trials and sacrifices. Yet these challenges are the very crucible in which the soul is refined and its luminous essence revealed. Through this sacred symbiosis, the key and the cross illuminate the path to transcendence, offering guidance and hope as we navigate the complexities of existence in pursuit of the ultimate treasure, the awakening to our highest spiritual potential. The White Grail and the Black Grail stand as symbols of the spiritual odyssey, encapsulating the duality inherent in our quest for enlightenment. The White Grail, with its luminous purity, represents the aspirational aspects of the journey, the quest for clarity, wisdom, and the illumination of the soul. In contrast, 
The black rail symbolizes the shadowy depths within that must be acknowledged and embraced. The personal trials, the inner darkness, and the challenges that must be overcome. Together, they signify the comprehensive journey of the self towards wholeness, emphasizing the necessity of confronting and integrating both light and shadow. This duality underscores the essence of the spiritual path, a journey not of rejection, but of unification, where enlightenment is achieved through the balance and harmony of all facets of one's being, leading to a state of inner peace and universal understanding. In the realm of symbols that Manly P. Hall unveils, each one acts not just as a guide, but as a mirror, reflecting the infinite potential within us to transcend our earthly bounds and touch the divine, becoming living symbols of the light we seek. Human Fluence, out.